On Friday, March 22nd, George Mason University's student-run newspaper, Fourth Estate, published an article on their website. The headline reading, Brett Kavanaugh, hired as professor at Antonin Scalia Law School. Fourth Estate obtained a document which highlights Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's three-year contract with the university starting in June of 2019. Mason Cable Network reached out to the George Mason Antonin Scalia Law School for a statement. They responded in part, One of the most valuable aspects of attending our law school is the opportunity to be exposed to some of the most influential legal experts in the nation. It is a rare opportunity for students to learn from a U.S. Supreme Court justice. Kavanaugh officially joins the law school faculty in a two-credit course this summer in England, taught alongside his longtime friend and former law clerk assistant professor in the law school, Jennifer Mascott. On the Monday morning following the article's release, this poster even popped up on the George Mason statue, which reads, GMU hires rapists, hashtag believe survivors, hashtag no Brett Kavanaugh. The news of Kavanaugh's hiring to the law school come to the students at a time in which campus is dealing with multiple issues involving our own Title IX office and incidents of sexual assault. Students like Alexis Frambies weigh in on the recent decision. I was disappointed in Mason for choosing someone who I don't think represents Mason value. Like, like you're putting a message that you don't care about those students forward. That, yes, it's like you may be saying on one hand that you have an issue with those things, like with the assault stuff, but you are not saying that you care enough to do anything about it by hiring someone who has that cloud of allegations of sexual assault over his head. It's also no secret that students have a lot to say about the recent decision to hire Justice Kavanaugh, posting on Facebook comments like, I don't want him anywhere on a college campus, to be completely honest. Others have also voiced their opinion with comments like, charge wasn't proven. An anonymous statement to Mason Cable Network acknowledges the popular backlash against the hiring, but says they feel it's an honor to have Kavanaugh join faculty. The student also notes the allegations made against him were never proven to be true and shouldn't be the mark of his identity. With students reacting to the situation, some are deciding to take action. I think just with students who are saying calling for a protest, I don't think that does enough because I think protests can quickly devolve into two sides yelling at each other, especially when it becomes to the portrayals of those protests, not the protests themselves. Um, so having these laid out, well thought out and planned communications between students and leaders and of the university, it just looks better. And then we set a precedent going forward for listening to students and really understanding what they want out of their university. Moving forward, a coalition of nearly 60 students and Mason 4 survivors, GMU, are teaming up to foster a set of events which hopes to effectively address the concerns and demands among students to the university administration. The first planned event is called a teach-in and scheduled on Thursday from 1 to 3 in the JC Meeting Room B. Reporting in Fairfax, Angelique Arentalk, Mason Cable News.